In this video, we're going to take a look at finding the nth term of decreasing linear sequences. So in this sequence, we start with 9, 6, 3, 0. Well, we see we're going down by 3 each time. We're taking away 3. So our nth term is going to start off with negative 3n. So we've always got that number that we're going either up or down by out the front. This time it's going to be minus 3n because we're going down. So let's put out our minus 3 times table. If we think back to how we did it with our, with our increasing sequences. We did, say, our 3 times table if we had a 3n. Now we've got on a negative 3, so we're going to do a negative 3 times table. So that goes negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, and negative 12. So we need to see what would we need to add on to this negative 3 times table to get to the sequence we started with. Well, that's going to be 12. Every time we have to add 12 to go from this sequence to uh, the sequence we got. So minus 3 add 12 would give us 9, minus 6 add 12 would give us 6, minus 9 add 12 would give us 3, and minus 12 add 12 would give us 0. So our nth term is going to be minus 3n plus 12. If we look at another example, now we're all negative. We're starting with minus 6, going down to minus 13, minus 20, minus 27. Well, what are we doing each time? We're going down by 7. We're taking away 7 every single time. So we're going to start off with negative 7n. Okay, let's put our negative 7 times table. So negative 7, negative 14, negative 21, negative 28. Well, what do we need to do to go from this negative 7 times table to the sequence that we're given? Well, this time we need to add 1. So go from minus 7 up to minus 6, we add adding 1. Minus 14 to minus 13, we're adding 1, and so on. So our nth term this time is going to be negative 7n plus 1. Okay, here's an example for you to have a go at yourself. So if you just want to pause the video for a moment, the sequence you want to find the nth term of is 5, minus 1, minus 7, minus 13. Okay, let's go through this one there. So what are we doing each time? Well, to go from 5 to minus 1, we're taking away 6. And to go from minus 1 to minus 7, we're taking away 6. And from minus 7 to minus 13, we're taking away 6. We're always taking away 6. So let's do our negative 6 times table. We start off with negative 6, then negative 12, negative 18, and negative 24. Well, what do we need to do to go from this negative 6 times table up to the sequence we've got? Well, from minus 6 up to 5, we've got to go up 6 to get to 0, up another 5 to get to about 5. So we're going up 11. So we're going to have minus 6 n plus 11 and that's going to be our answer make sure to like and subscribe for more maths videos